List of military engagements of World War I encompasses land, naval, and air engagements as well as campaigns, operations, defensive lines and sieges. Campaigns generally refer to broader strategic operations conducted over a large bit of territory and over a long period of time. Battles generally refer to short periods of intense combat localized to a specific area and over a specific period of time. However, use of the terms in naming such events is not consistent. For example, the First Battle of the Atlantic was more or less an entire theater of war, and the so-called battle lasted for the duration of the entire war. Topic: <laughs> Western Front, World War 1, Western Front. The Western Front comprised the fractious borders between France, Germany, and the neighboring countries. It was infamous for the nature of the fight that developed there. After almost a full year of inconclusive fighting, the front had become a giant trench line stretching from one end of Europe to the other. 1914 Battle of Liege The Battle of Liege was the first battle of the war, and could be considered a moral victory for the Allies, as the heavily outnumbered Belgians held out against the German army for 12 days. From 5 to 16 August 1914, the Belgians successfully resisted the numerically superior Germans, and inflicted surprisingly heavy losses on their aggressors. The German Second Army, comprising 320,000 men, crossed into neutral Belgium in keeping to the Schlieffen Plan, with the ultimate goal of attacking France from the north. Liege was key strategically as it held a position at the head of a pass through the Ardennes, which made it the best possible route into the heart of Jolie fought in this battle and won Belgium itself. The city was surrounded by a ring of twelve heavily armed forts, garrisoned by 70,000 men under the command of Gerard Lemon. A night attack on 5 August was repulsed with heavy losses to the Germans, to the extreme surprise of the supremely confident German army. The next day, rather than confront the forts in battle, the German commander Erich Ludendorff attacked the city through the back, through a break in the line of fortresses that the Belgians had intended to fortify, but never did so. Although they succeeded in capturing the city, the Germans knew that they could not continue advancing troops into Belgium without first breaking down the forts. Aided by 17-inch howitzers, the Germans finally succeeded in bringing down the forts on the 16th of August. The unprecedented Belgian resistance seriously prolonged the opening German assault at the outbreak of World War I, allowing France and Britain time to organize themselves and a defense of Paris. In addition, it was an important moral victory for the Allies. Topic: <laughs> Battle of the Frontiers. The early French initiative, to recapture territory lost to the Germans in the 1870–1871 Franco-Prussian War, was played out in a series of frontier battles between the Germans and the French, known collectively as the Battle of the Frontiers. The battles at Mulhouse, Lorraine, the Ardennes, Charleroi, and Mons were launched more or less simultaneously, and marked the collision of the German and French war plans, the Schlieffen Plan and Plan 17, respectively. Battle of Mulhouse The Battle of Mulhouse was the opening attack by the French against the Germans. The battle was part of a French attempt to recover the province of Alsace, which had been lost as a consequence of having lost the Franco-Prussian War of 1870–1871. A French force under General Louis Bonneau detached from the French First Corps and invaded the frontier on August 8, 1914. Opposing them was the German 7th Division. The recapture of the area, preordained by the French Plan 17, was to boost national pride, and to provide a guard force for the flank of subsequent invasions, the French quickly recaptured the border town of Altkirch with a bayonet charge. Bono, suspicious of the little German resistance, was wary of a carefully planned German trap. However, under orders the next day he advanced to Mulhouse, capturing it with little effort, for the Germans had already abandoned it. In France, the retaking of Mulhouse, without a fight, was celebrated greatly. However, with the arrival of German reserves from Strasbourg, the tides were turned, and the Germans mounted a counter-attack on nearby Cernay. Unable to mount an all-encompassing defence, and unable to call on reserves of his own, Bono began a slow withdrawal from the region. Support troops hastily sent by the French commander-in-chief Joseph Joffre arrived too late to prevent Bono from retiring. Joffre was immensely angry with Bono, charging him with a lack of aggression, and immediately relieving him of command. Realizing the psychological magnitude of the loss, he assembled a force, led by Paul Power, which tried unsuccessfully to recapture the province. Battle of Lorraine The invasion and recapture of Lorraine formed one of the major parts of the French pre-war strategy, Plan 17. 
The loss of Lorraine and Alsace, see above, to the Prussians in the 1870–1871 Franco-Prussian War was seen as a national humiliation by the public and military alike, and was at the forefront of their minds for the next war against the Germans. The battle was initiated by the French First and Second Armies. The first, led by General Auguste Dubar, intended to take Saraburg, whilst the second, led by General Noel de Castelnau, intended to take Morhangi. Both towns were well fortified, and the task of defending them fell to Crown Prince Rupprecht, who had overall control of the German 6th and 7th Armies. Rupprecht adopted a strategy in which he would fall back under the French attacks, then counterattack once he lured the French all the way to his fortifications. As the French army advanced, it met stern resistance in the form of German artillery and machine gun fire. Army Chief of Staff Helmut von Moltke authorized a more aggressive tactic soon after, and on August 20, the German army started to roll back the French. Caught by surprise and without the assistance of entrenched positions, the Second Army was pushed back quickly, eventually into France itself. A gap was exposed between the forces in Mulhouse and those in Lorraine. The forces in Mulhouse were withdrawn to keep the gap from being taken advantage of by the Germans. Diverging from the Schlieffen plan, Rupprecht received reinforcements and attacked the French line near the Truy de Charmes. However, through the use of reconnaissance aircraft, the French spotted the German build up and were able to build an adequate defence. Thus, the German gains were minimised and were eradicated by a following French counter assault on the 25th. Fighting continued there until the end of August and quickly ground into a stalemate and trench warfare. Battle of the Ardennes The Battle of Ardennes, fought between 21 and 23 August 1914, was another of the early frontier battles, conducted during the first month of the war. The battle was sparked by the mutual collision of French and German invasion forces in the lower Ardennes forest. The pre war French strategy expected German forces in the area to be light, and the French light, rapid firing artillery was expected to convey an advantage in forested terrain over the bigger German guns. Instead, it became increasingly apparent to all of the commanders in the region that a significant enemy presence was gathering, for the Germans had planned an offensive through the area. The sets of armies joined battle on both sides. General Pierre Ruffy's 3rd Army to the south and Fernand de Langle de Carey's 4th Army to the north, fighting Germany's 4th, led by Duke Albrecht, and 5th Army, led by Crown Prince Wilhelm. The German troops started moving through the forest on 19 August. Conditions worsened, and by the time the two armies met, the forest was covered in a deep fog, resulting in the two forces stumbling into one another. At first, the French took the Germans as a light screening force, however, in reality the French were heavily outnumbered. The first day of the battle consisted of light skirmishes. The main battle did not begin until 21 August. According to the pre war French strategy document, Plan 17, German forces in the area were only expected to be light, with French light, rapid firing artillery proving advantageous in a wooded terrain such as that found in the Ardennes. However, what emerged was totally opposite the French eagerly charged at German positions in the woods, and were mowed down by machine gun fire. The French armies retreated hurriedly in the face of superior German tactical positioning, and the Germans chased them all the way back into the French border. In addition to losing a key strategic position, the French forfeited iron resources in the region as well. Battle of Charleroi Battle of Charleroi, another of the frontier battles, was an action taking place 12-23 August 1914. The battle was joined by the French 5th Army, advancing north towards the River Samba, and the German 2nd and 3rd Armies, moving southwest through Belgium. The 5th Army was meant to join the 3rd and 4th Armies in their attack through the Ardennes. However, this plan was put into effect assuming the Germans were not considering an assault further north, through Belgium. Which was the German plan all along. Charles Lanrezac, commander of the 5th Army, was strongly against the idea, fearing an attack from the north. However Joseph Joffre, chief of staff, rejected any such idea. After much persuasion, Lanrezac finally convinced him to move the 5th Army northwards. However, by the time the 5th Army arrived, units of the German 2nd Army were already in the area. Joffre authorized an attack across the Samba, predicting that the German force had 18 divisions, comparable to Lanrezic's 15, plus another three British reinforcements the British Expeditionary Force. However, Lanrezac predicted much higher numbers, closer to the actual number—32 German divisions. He preferred to wait for reinforcements, however that same day the Germans attacked across the river and established two beachheads, neither of which fell despite several French counterattacks. The next day, the main attack began, the fighting carried on through the day, and into the next. The French centre suffered severe losses and retreated, but the west and east flanks both held their ground. However, the retreat of cavalry divisions to the far west exposed the French west flank. 
With news of his situation, and the fact that his flanks could give and be completely enwrapped, Lanrezac ordered a general retreat into northern France. Siege of Maubeuge The French town of Maubeuge was a major fort on the French side of the border. With a junction of no fewer than five major railway lines, it was recognized as a key strategic position by both sides, hence the construction of 15 forts and gun batteries ringing it, a total of 435 guns, and a permanent garrison of 35,000 troops. These were further bolstered by the choosing of the town as the advance base of the British Expeditionary Force. However, when these and the French Fifth Army retreated following the events at Charleroi, the town was cut off from Allied support, and subsequently besieged on August 25. The German heavy artillery succeeded in demolishing the key forts around the city, and General Joseph Anthelm Fournier, in command of the garrison in the city, surrendered to the Germans some 13 days later. 1914 Battle of Le Cateau, Battle of Saint Quentin, also called the Battle of Guise, First Battle of the Marne, First Battle of the Aisne, Siege of Antwerp, First Battle of Albert, First Battle of Arras. Battle of the Yser First Battle of Ypres First Battle of Champagne 1915 Battle of Nerve Chapel Second Battle of Ypres Second Battle of Artois Battle of Luz Second Battle of Champagne 1916 Battle of Verdun Battle of Hulluck Battle of the Somme Battle of Fromelles Battle of Pozières Battle of Ginchy 1917 Nivelle Offensive Battle of Arras 1917 Battle of Vimy Ridge Second Battle of the Aisne, also called the Third Battle of Champagne Battle of Messine Third Battle of Ypres, also called the Battle of Passchendaele Battle of La Malmaison Battle of Cambrai 1917-1918 German Spring Offensive First Battle of the Somme 1918, also known as the Battle of St. Quentin or the Second Battle of the Somme, to distinguish it from the 1916 battle. Battle of the Lys, also known as the Fourth Battle of Ypres and the Battle of Estaires. Third Battle of the Aisne. Battle of Cantigny. Battle of Belleau Wood. Second Battle of the Marne. Battle of Soissons 1918. Battle of Chateau Thierry 1918. Hundred Days Offensive Battle of Amiens Second Battle of the Somme 1918, also known as the Third Battle of the Somme Battle of saint Mihiel, Battle of Epahy Battle of the Hindenburg Line Meuse Argonne Offensive, also called the Battle of the Argonne Forest Battle of Cambrai 1918. Battle of the Samba 1918, also known as the Second Battle of the Samba Topic. Italian campaign First Battle of the Isenzo Second Battle of the Isenzo Third Battle of the Isenzo Fourth Battle of the Isenzo Fifth Battle of the Isenzo Trentino Offensive or the Battle of Asiago Sixth Battle of the Isenzo or the Battle of Garizia Seventh Battle of the Isenzo 8th Battle of the Isenzo 9th Battle of the Isenzo 10th Battle of the Isenzo 11th Battle of the Isenzo 12th Battle of the Isenzo or the Battle of Caporetto Battle of the Piave River Battle of Vittorio Veneto Topic <laughs> Eastern Front 1914 Battle of Staliponen Battle of Gumbinen Battle of Tannenberg Battle of Galicia First Battle of the Masurian Lakes Battle of the Vistula River Battle of Wuj 1914 Battle of Limanua 1915 Siege of Premisel Battle of Bolomov Second Battle of the Masurian Lakes Great Retreat Russian Svenshini Offensive 1916 Lake Narik Offensive Brusilov Offensive 1917 Kerensky Offensive Russian Revolution 1918 Operation Forchlag Romanian Campaign 
1916. Battle of Transylvania, Central Powers victory. Battle of Turdecaia, Central Powers victory. Battle of Dobrich, Bulgarian victory. First Battle of Kobaden, Romanian Russian victory. Battle of Sibiu, 1916, Central Powers victory. Battle of Old Valley, Romanian victory. Battle of Ternu Roșu Pass, Romanian victory. Flamanda Offensive, Central Powers victory. Battle of Brasov, 1916, Central Powers victory. Battle of Bran Kamplung area, Romanian victory. Battle of Prahova Valley, Romanian victory. First Battle of Oituz Pass, Romanian victory. Second Battle of Kobaden, Central Powers victory. First Battle of the Jew Valley, Romanian victory. Second Battle of the Jew Valley, Central Powers victory. Battle of Vulcan Pass, Central Powers victory. Second Battle of Oituz Pass, Romanian victory. Battle of Targu Jew, Central Powers victory. Battle of Robainsti, German victory. Battle of Bucharest, Central Powers victory. Prunaru Charge, Central Powers victory. Battle of the Argeis, Central Powers victory. Battle of Ramnicu Sarat, Central Powers victory, 1917. Battle of Tulcea, Romanian victory. Battle of Maristi, Romanian Russian victory. Battle of Marisosti, Romanian Russian victory. Battle of Oitas, 1917, Romanian Russian victory. Topic: Caucasus campaign. Battle of Sarikamish, December 1914 to January 1915. Battle of Manzikert, 1915. Battle of Kara Kilis. Battle of Koprakoy. Battle of Erzurum. Battle of Erzincan. Battle of Baku. Topic: Serbian campaign. Battle of Cer. Battle of Drina. Battle of Kalubara. Battle of Morava. Battle of Kosovo, 1915. Battle of Ovche Pol. Topic: Gallipoli Campaign. The Gallipoli Campaign, also called the Dardanelles Campaign, was a number of battles fought between 1915 and 1916. Battle of the Neck. Battle of Chunuk Bear. Battle of Gully Ravine. Battle of Hill 60, Gallipoli. Battle of Krithia Vineyard. Battle of Lone Pine. Battle of Sari Bear. Battle of Simita Hill. Landing at Anzac Cove. Landing at Cape Hells. First Battle of Krithia. Second Battle of Krithia. Third Battle of Krithia. Naval operations in the Dardanelles campaign. Topic: <inaudible> Macedonian Front. Battle of Krivilak. First Battle of Duran. Battle of Florina. Battle of Struma. Monastir offensive. Battle of Malkinija. Battle of Kashmikshalan. First Battle of Serna Ben. Second Battle of Duran. Second Battle of Serna Ben. Battle of Skra di Legan. Vardar Offensive. Battle of Dobro Pol. Third Battle of Duran. Topic: <laughs> Sinai and Palestine Campaign. First Suez Offensive. Battle of Romani or the Second Suez Offensive. Battle of Magdaba Battle of Rafa Battle of Mugger Ridge Battle of Jerusalem Fall of Damascus First Battle of Gaza Second Battle of Gaza Third Battle of Gaza or the Battle of Bathsheba Battle of Bathsheba Battle of Megiddo Topic Mesopotamian campaign Foul landing Fall of Basra Battle of Kurna Capture of Amara 
Battle of Naziria Battle of S. Shin Battle of Cte Siphon Siege of Kut Battle of Sheikh Sarad Battle of the Wadi Battle of Hana Battle of Dujala Redoubt First Battle of Kut Battle of Karnakin Second Battle of Kut Fall of Baghdad Samara Offensive Battle of Jebel Hamlin Battle of Istabullah Battle of Ramadi Capture of Tikrit Battle of Shakar African Campaign Fall of Cameroon Fall of German Southwest Africa Namibia Fall of Togo Fall of German East Africa Battle of Tanga or Battle of the Bees Battle of Rufiji Delta Battle of Kilimanjaro Battle of Sanfontaine Battle of Segal Topic: Naval engagements. Topic: Atlantic Theater. First Battle of Heligoland Bight, 1914. Battle of Coronel, 1914. Battle of the Falkland Islands, 1914. Raid on Scarborough, Hartlepool, and Whitby, 1914. Battle of Dogger Bank, 1915. Otranto Barrage, 1915 to 1918. Battle of Jutland, 1916. Battle of Dover Strait, 1917. Second Battle of Heligoland Bight, 1917. Zeebrugge Raid, 1918. Topic: Mediterranean. Pursuit of Gerben and Breslau, 1914. Naval operations in the Dardanelles campaign, 1915–1916. Battle of the Otranto Straits, 1917. Topic: <laughs> Asia Pacific Theater. Battle of Rabaul. Battle of Singtao, 1914. Battle of Penang, 1914. Battle of Coronel, 1914. Battle of Cocos, 1914. Topic: <inaudible> Air engagements. World War One was the first war to see major use of planes for offensive, defensive, and reconnaissance operations, and both the Entente powers and the Central Powers used planes extensively. Almost as soon as they were invented, planes were drafted for military service. See also the following articles Aviation in World War I Aviation history 1914-1918 Flying aces List of World War I flying aces Strategic bombing during World War I Zeppelins in World War I Topic. Contemporary wars Some historians consider these conflicts to be part of the First World War, having started either during or just after the war. In some cases, these conflicts were not directly caused by the war yet were exacerbated by them. For example, the 1916 Easter Rising was caused by factors generally unrelated to the war in Europe, yet took place at the time it did due to the British Army being thinly stretched in 1916, as well as the promise of German support in fighting the British, among many other factors. Others, such as the Mexican Revolution, began before but influenced the war in terms of material or as factors taken into consideration by the belligerents. In the cause of the Ottoman Wars, these motivated the young Turks to move towards war against the Allied powers. <laughs> Pre-First World War Mexican Revolution 1910 Italo Turkish War, 1911 1912. First Balkan War, 1912 13. Second Balkan War, 1913. Zayan War, 1914 21. Topic. During the First World War 
Marat's Rebellion, 1914–15; Easter Rising, 1916; Warlord Era, 1916–1928; Senussi Campaign, 1915–17; Russian Revolution, 1917; Finnish Civil War, 1918; Russian Civil War, 1918–22. North Russia Campaign 1918-19 Russian Westward Offensive 1918-19 Topic Post First World War Greater Poland Uprising 1918-19 Hungarian Romanian War 1918-19 Polish Soviet War 1919-21 Irish War of Independence 1919 to 21 Turkish War of Independence 1919 to 23 Greco-Turkish War 1919 to 22 Vlora War 1920 Irish Civil War 1922 23